This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Wrestling Mayhem Show, where we've been tackling out, we've been talking about professional wrestling for over 635 episodes. I am Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter, and I have some very special guests. If you guys are checking us out later, we are at Pittsburgh PodCon. What's up, everybody? <laughs> and it's part of International Podcast Day. And we are a part of it, and we have a wonderful, wonderful crew today. Uh, we have, I'll introduce them for a, a bit, but I'm going to do some quick business as we do every episode. First of all, Wrestling Mayhem Show is where you can, uh, WrestleMayhem, WrestlingMayhemShow.com is where you can find links, I'll edit all this later, uh, where you can find links and subscribe to us on podcasts and video form. Look us up on your favorite platform. Email us at that email address. I think some of you know it out there. Nobody knows. Good times at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. I think there's two people listening to the show out there. Um, and also 412-206-WMS0. Tweet us at Mayhem Show, and we're live every Tuesday, 9 p.m. Eastern Time on Facebook Live. Thank you to our Patreon supporters. I'd read your names, but we got a little bit of a time frame tonight, and I want to get to the good stuff. Thank you for supporting us. Help us keep us lights on at Patreon.com slash Mayhem Show. So we are at PodCon. We have other podcasters with us today, and uh, fans of wrestling, and and a wrestler that I didn't know was going to be here today. No, no. So, no. so no, first, not at all. First of all, I I, I got to talk about Edric Everhart here is uh, hiding in the back uh, yeah. with your podcast. Yeah. I didn't know you did a podcast. I I see you once a month. Yeah, I separate real life from uh, wrestling life. So that's kind of like my thing. Tell the people your podcast. Uh, we're in the back. We are uh, Are You Scared of These Stories? Uh, we are a uh, parody of uh, Are You Afraid of the Dark? Okay. So um, uh, it's very mature. Uh, it's very, um, uh, I don't <laughs> Uh, we, 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 very, do, uh, we do have a, a parental advisory taste. at the beginning of the show. It's a what? Particular comedic taste, I okay. would say. Uh, but um, we spoof uh, Are You Afraid of the Dark? Because um, we think all those episodes are kind of uh, silly. I just realized I haven't been using the camera very well. Uh, right hey, hello. Everybody right can on. see us now. But anyways... Um, oh. No, yeah, that's awesome. It was, it was cool to see you here. We'll talk about yeah, the man. wrestling podcast and everything. Also with us, not a wrestler. Or have you been? I don't know your past very well. I have not been, but I've always dreamed of being tag team champion with my, with my younger brother, Dave. Okay. Hasn't happened, but we're, we're still holding on hope. But uh, Charlie Deach with us from uh, Pittsburgh Current, of course. Yes. And, uh, of course, somebody that's uh, just recently joined the uh, Sorgatron Media Podcast uh, uh, Network. So. Yeah. Pittsburgh Current Podcast, every Thursday live from Sorgatron Media, and you can find it wherever reputable, reputable podcasts are downloaded. There you go. So, so first of all, um, I, I, we've, been, we've been trying to get you on the Wrestling Mayhem Show for a while, because every time you come into the, the studio, it seems, and I haven't, seen, I haven't been up the street to see your desk yet, yeah. but you're wearing um, a great old school wrestling shirt every time, almost every time I see you. Right. Yeah, I got for a uh, birthday present a couple of years ago from a friend a uh, one of the one of the wrestling t-shirt boxes, and oh. so all this great stuff. Like for a year, three shirts a month would come in, and so I've got all these great <laughs> all these great shirts. And tonight it was really I couldn't decide whether to wear one of those. I had my Cactus Jack Terry Funk King of the Deathmatch shirt ready to go, but I thought since I'm here for the podcast, I should wear my Pittsburgh Current shirt. That's right. That's right. You got to wear that. the Terry Funk shirt. I yeah. know. I, I probably say sure. By the way, for anybody on the audio that's joining us later, that's a sweet. Uh, was that Brett, Brett the Hitman Hart yeah. over there? Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. So, so first of all, Char Charlie, tell me about your like. When did you kind of discover pro wrestling? I, I was young. My my dad was uh, my dad was a huge fan, and growing up in this region, of course, I was a huge fan of San Martino, and of course, mm -hmm. I mean David San Martino. David. Oh, David <laughs> San Martino. Just kidding. Uh, yeah. yeah. No, but my my dad my dad used to regale us with these stories of how. 
you know, he would go to matches in Pittsburgh or in Wheeling and different places. And um, it was Bruno fighting Cowboy Billy Watts. And, you know, Bruno would... By my dad's count, Bruno had his neck broken 30 or 40 times. And, Something like that, yeah. And the, and the fans always tipped over uh, Bill Watts' cab. He told the same story over and over again. So he really built up this, uh, you know, this sort of, man, this is pretty awesome, professional wrestling. And so um, we started watching on Saturdays, WWE. And then we, the, the turning point for me, though, was when I found uh, uh, Championship Wrestling from Georgia on the Superstation. That was like, that was the turning point. That and Jim Crockett's... Um, Mid-Atlantic show, Saturday mornings. That was the turning point. When I saw the Raging Bull, Manny Fernandez, that just, I'm mm. like, never saw a guy like that before. That's great. And, and, and we say, Adric, you're, uh, we talked about, of course, uh, extensively on the Indie Mayhem show, uh, our inter- interview show on the network. But uh, just for a review for people maybe haven't caught that, like, what was your kind of introduction to, to pro wrestling? Uh, my introduction is from movies, watching, like, uh, Mr. Nanny. And Mr. Su- Nanny? And wait, 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 wait. You saw Hulk Hogan in a tutu, and you're like, that's the stuff I want to do. He was, you know, gas to the gills, and I was like, that guy looks sick. <laughs> like, listen, if I had that's a tutu, a crazy amount of I want to look like that. That's insane. Okay, okay, uh, I But, like, uh, Hulk Hogan. Okay. Uh, Suburban Commando more than anything, because... Sub- Suburban Commando was That awesome. is a good movie. That is a good, yes. I don't give a that is flying... S H I T, what you think? Suburban Commando is a fantastic movie. <laughs> fantastic movie. Hey, Christopher a, Lloyd at his best in that one. Is that on a scale? That's what got I me into wrestling frozen today. That's what got me into wrestling. Fell off, got back in during the Attitude Era, Stone Cold, all that, and then uh, fell off. Got back in. Everybody, I think everybody has that even flow of wrestling sometimes. Yeah, you yeah. know what I mean? Oh, I think we've uh, all been there. Yeah, and then I was like, hey, I could, I'll try this. Yeah. And I did. And you Now, you, you, uh, <laughs> you, your, your persona, when you see in your ring, um, you are uh, System Elite is your tag team where I see you most. Yeah. Uh, including there is another tag team w- called Flanimal House. Yeah. With uh, Honey yeah, Badger group, and the stable. Bearcat, uh, Keith Hot. It's yeah. wonderful. Um, and, uh, and and have you have you wrestled in this room with KSWA? Yeah, I met Bruno San Martino in that room. In that here. room right back yeah. there. Yeah, Bruno's yeah. been here, guys. Bruno, uh, I met Bruno San Martino back there. Uh, I met David San Martino back there by the women's <laughs> restroom. <laughs> Wait, um, what's, what was David San Martino doing by the women's restroom? He just shook my hand. I don't oh, know. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, whatever. I was like, hey, dude, what? The, uh, where's your dad? I'm sorry. <laughs> Okay. No, 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 uh, but the thing is, like, Ty Cross is, like, crazy Italian. Yeah. So it was so easy to talk to Bruno San Martino <laughs> because he was just like, you know, ah, I'm Italian, too. <laughs> like, you know. Oh, boy. Um, no, it, it's kind of nice. It is also nice. You know, this is the first time I've been in this room without a wrestling ring where, where Dan from the comic this book is sitting right now. What's that? This is where I started. This is where you started, in this room right yeah. here. Your first match. Who was your first? Who was your first match against? And was it Tarantula um, stuffing nachos in your face? No, I've never had that happen. To That's me. good. Yeah. Oh, wow. I don't even know. They have nachos tonight. It was. A, it was probably a tag match with with Ty Cross. So I don't know who it would be against. He is like your wrestling life mate, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's my friend too. Yeah. He's, like he's gonna be really. Buddies. He's gonna be really pissed because he was all over our chat he's room gonna, last week. <laughs> And uh, he, he already said he's like, dude, I'm super jelly. <laughs> I was like, I was here. He needed somebody. I was like, yeah, sure, dude, I'll I'll do it. Oh boy, that's a fun thing. Uh, so so we're again we're here and um, let's check the time and and. You know, we just had a great conversation, great panel up here about kind of wrestling, uh, not wrestling, no, that's what, that's what we usually talk about, podcasting and, and you know, getting into it and, and kind of state of it and everything. Um, it, it's really, the landscape has changed since 2006 when it was just like, hey, a bunch of fans did wrestling podcasts, right? It's been Stone Cold has a podcast, you know, I've been listening to Bruce Pritchard and, uh, and uh, Eric Bischoff tell me how the business actually works oh for the last God, year. I love it's Eric amazing. Um, <laughs> if for those who don't know, Bruce Pritchard, somebody that's worked, Brother Love, yep. 
Brother Love, I love you. Uh, with the red face and everything, but he also had a lot of backstage involvement with the WWE, uh, WWF, um, and, and I guess TNA for a little bit too. So they're, they're like kind of recapping like his perspective on things. And that's really kind of been a game changer. And, and I think it's already been in the podcast hall of fame. I went to podcast movement thinking I was going to get away from wrestling for a couple days. You know, I'm like, first time I'm going to Philadelphia and I'm not going to the ECW arena. And... Pritchard is here, and Colt Cabana is here, like presenting podcast Hall of Fame night, and it was really surreal. Um, but so, so it's a really kind of crossover to, I don't want to call it the mainstream podcasting, but but it is, it is definitely. Yeah. So like, what are you guys listening to? Do you listen to more like guys that are or have been in the business, or are you guys listening to like other kind of fan podcasts, like what we do on Mayhem Show most of the time? Yeah, I don't really, I don't listen to, a, I, I, well, being kind of like my, my, I mean, I watch some now, but really being an old school fan, I like to find, um, you know, a lot of podcasts done by, like, the Bruce Pritchard podcast I've been listening to a lot lately. The Bruce Pritchard podcast is fantastic because if you look back at any sort of major moves that have happened in the World Wrestling Entertainment Federation, any sort of, like, major angles or swerves or backstage moves, Bruce Pritchard he's, he's was around. Somehow, he, was he was in the there, room right, most of the time. He was in the room most of the time. <laughs> So he's got great stories. Um, but probably the first one that I really started to listen to on the regular, even though I'm not quite sure what, of a, <laughs> what quality of human being he is, but the Jim Cornette podcasts have been... Oh, geez. They were my... <laughs> well, listen, but if, you're, if, you're, if, you learned, if you learned wrestling back when, when I started, the Jim Cornette podcast, from a pure story standpoint, yeah. if you cut out all the homophobia and... Uh, yeah, yeah, it gets rough. Um. <laughs> I, you, you, you haven't lived until you've seen uh, Jim Cornette tear into somebody in person. Uh, so, uh, uh, but it's amazing because he's, he's somebody that I go watch like old wrestling and I realize like, I, what was it, AWA or something he was in yeah. with like all the rock and roll and Midnight Expresses. And I'm just like, Jim Cornette is like, 40 minutes of this 47 minute show right. talking about everything and it's still captivating. So it's got to be interesting to see whether you agree with it or not, his perspective on things. Absolutely. Um, what, what are you listening to? Uh, I listen to, um, I love the Nitro podcast, Derek Bischoff, 83 Weeks. Yes. Because uh, I love him getting caught in his bullshit. <laughs> it seems like he gets caught in his bullshit constantly. And you're just like, yeah, get him. Get him, Connor. I get him. And uh, I love Con Jim. Conrad. I hey, those don't know. Uh, uh, Conrad uh, Th Thompson, isn't yeah. it? Um, he uh, he basically represents all the rest of us that think we know how wrestling yeah, works right. behind the scenes. And for better or for worse, you know, um, sometimes he represents the fan that I really don't want to represent on the show yeah. like this. Yeah. Um, but but that, that's the conversation, right? And that's like people believe this stuff, just like. People believe that there was a second Ultimate Warrior and the first one died, yeah. right? And and, yeah, yeah, yeah. and and that's still, like, it was being told. I love that stuff. Like, though. people yeah. still tell me that. And I'm just like, people, kids told me that on the playground when I was I in, like, go, eighth and grade. I just, and I personally just go, yeah, 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 that's true, dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah, yeah, that's true. She's not going to argue why, that. Why no. destroy the magic for somebody? Yeah. You can also tell them that the first Edric Everhart's dead, too. <laughs> they just, like, bump your own career up. Uh, and I love Jim Cornette, even though, like, Everything that I do personally in the ring sometimes, he would fucking shit on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's yeah. true. That's I true. once curled a human body in the you ring did. one time at Rise. It was the Olympics going on. It was the Winter yeah, Olympics. It was the Olympics, <laughs> and I curled uh, like, look, we're the talking, Bearcat it, Keith Hawk. Because this, this came up. We, well, we talked about it on the podcast this past week when Ty was in the, in the and it was like, no, curling. Like the sweeping and the disc, but the disc was the Bearcat. Yeah, and and it worked because pro wrestling. Yeah, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but I still love Jim Cornette. Like yeah. it's just yeah. like yeah, yeah, you're right on everything. But I would rather entertain the fans. So you guys still are you are you guys listening to anything other than us uh, that, that that kind of represents kind of the fan perspective, or you're taking like like news podcasts like, that deal with wrestling or anything like that? Um, uh, y you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's about it, man. I'm not gonna lie. 
Uh, the I don't like the fan perspective sometimes. Yeah. Man. Yeah. Like the crapping on Roman Reigns and crapping on John Cena. And, and I fight that so much on my show. Um, I, I, you know, I, I try so hard um, because I don't stuff want it. like the that recent Brie Bella stuff. I'm like, uh, that shit happens. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. It happens yeah. a lot. People get hurt. People get kicked in the face, and yeah. you know, concussions um, happen. You know. God, it, that's just. Yeah, fans, I don't, I don't know, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, th- I, th- I think a lot of us, we listened to that because that was all, that was all there was. And so you, right, ta- you, take right. what you, can, you take what's on the menu. But then when you have other options, like I said, if I have a chance to hear, I forget what I was listening to, some clip I was listening to. Oh, if I could listen to Stone Cold and Booker T talk about an angle they had eight, nine, ten years ago, I'd rather listen to that than somebody talk about how, again, how they hate John Yeah, Cena yeah, it's, it's real perspective yeah, and, exactly. and stuff like that. But there is a lot of, um, like, there, it's still, uh, WWE really kind of wins on their, their social um, reaction, right? Uh, they always say we always had the most social interaction oh, for Hell in a like, Cell, better than the NBA and NBC. And they're just like, hey, read some of those tweets. I can't uh, handle them. Yeah, that, yeah. Man. So, I I'm mean, like, Roman Reigns is is good. He's really good. Yes. Like, you watch a match and you're like, that's really good. Yeah. I don't know what you're doing, man. Yeah. Like, I get it. Like, he's he wins a lot, but I mean, sort of like Stone Cold, it's and like uh, The Rock. And it feeds into itself. If you itself. turned him heel like one time, mm-hmm. people would just you know. Uh, Roman Reigns. Uh. <laughs> we did the oh, same Roman thing. Reigns is the greatest. We did the same thing that John Cena ten years ago. I, and listen, you need to have a podcast where it's just myself and Marcus Mann, and we just talk about John Cena the entire time. I think we've it almost just called had that. Edric and Marcus Mann, John Cena, John Cena, John Cena. <laughs> that seems right. That seems right. Um, so so. Of course, Colt Cabana, um, kind of, yeah, he's, like he, ch- he changed things. And, yeah. and, of course, he's not doing kind of the same podcast. I, I talked to him about podcast movement, and he's kind of more doing a kind of a journal kind of thing about his travels and, and his experiences, and he's interviewing yeah. kind of people on the fly. Um, like, I, I, I need to go back and listen to his all-in weekend uh, uh, experiences and everything like that. I listened to one where he went to China with uh, Dave Lagana and the um, – the, uh, uh, championship wrestling from Hollywood people uh, with the NWA title, uh, you know, like that's interesting, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's the like behind it. That that's the interesting behind the scenes of like this is what it's really like yeah. to be a right. pro wrestler, right? So exactly, and that's the again that that's the that's the stuff I love. Like I I saw what I see the product they put on TV. I'd love to know like what went into it. Like I I mean how many how many clips or, or either podcast clips or video clips have you watched on YouTube on the Montreal screw job. I mean I can't get like I went down a rabbit hole on that one night you're, and I must have watched like twelve you're, hours. You're talking to the guy that was involved in the five and a half hour Montreal screw job documentary we released in twenty eleven. Uh, so Yeah exactly. So it's just it's great to just see like you know, talk to, you know, I, again, I don't know how many perspectives I've seen on that, but it's it's nice to talk to people who were there right. and who are actually behind the scenes and you know, rather than people who just you know, Dude, saw it on TV. By the way, like by the way how, where, where do you stand on the Montreal theory? Have you, have you read Bret Hart's <laughs> book? Uh, have you read Bret Hart's book? I have not read Bret Hart's book. Oh my God, you're missing out. <laughs> I will read it. He's so angry. He's so it's very angry. Him, Is that, it's just him putting himself over for yeah. five million pages. <laughs> But Jeez. it's awesome. <laughs> well, that, yeah, that's it. The more the more over the top the stuff is, the more that you know, the, the more the real life person is kind of you really get their character out of their quote unquote real life person. And, and yeah. again, there's some of that still character. But that's the stuff I love when you're like they're really they're really kind of like that, which is scary and awesome all at the same time. Awesome. Um, so uh, from that, uh, so so where where are we at with wrestling? Let's see. I, I'm not used used to doing this on a Sunday. I went to an indie show last night, so that's on my mind, um, which involved. Okay, it's all blanking on me now, actually. Uh, but uh, <laughs> so so what what's the kind of stuff that's interesting you these days? Like uh, you know, Charlie, what are you watching? Are you watching the main stuff? Are you watching like some indies or, or anything like that? Yeah, I mean, I, I watch. I watch some of the. Are you coming here to KSWA in this room? <laughs> <laughs> I watch. I, I have seen some KSWA. I've seen some local shows. There was some. There was a time again when I was kind. Of, I was going to a lot of local shows because my. You ever see me wrestle? 
I don't know. I, no, I don't think well, so. Uh, okay, wait, wait. I look let's, completely let's different. Let's narrow it down. <laughs> oh, yeah, you look completely different. Uh, it's, it's just this with flannel, and, and he comes out the new kids on the block. Yeah. Nice. So I don't even think I did that then, though. No? It was, it was like clean shaven. Wow. 30 pounds. Wow. Later, earlier. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's pictures around. I don't uh, know what it looks like behind little, all this. Well, maybe I little, have. I'm not sure. Oh, uh, what is that? Like, what was that? What was that call where you just spiked the front of your hair? <laughs> a bad idea. <laughs> Sick idea. What are you talking about? <laughs> okay. If you mean bad is good. <laughs> what is the worst thing you've ever done in pro wrestling? In pro wrestling, um, other than that hairstyle. Fuck. I can't tell you. I can't <laughs> tell you wrestling certain people because that's just shitty to say. No, 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 no. <laughs> we only do that on the video game stream. Uh, the. Uh, I can, by the way, man. you. By the way, I, I, this is what I've learned in the last couple uh, months. Because um, uh, we we've been doing a Twitch stream with Brohemoth and some other wrestlers uh-huh. and everything. Yeah, like, put them in front of a video game and watch the venom come out and they start Ooh, burying yeah, people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to be a podcast that's like negative and saying, "Oh, this guy sucks" and everything like that. Yeah. But man, put them in front of a video game and it just goes like especially like one where you can put people's names in answers to questions. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. rough. Um that's rough to do. Like uh anytime you hear something like, "Oh, that dude, uh, he's a good guy." <laughs> yeah, he's a good guy. That means that that guy's not good at wrestling. Uh, <laughs> I, hope to, I hate to tell you that. He gave me a ride um, to the show. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, oh, yeah, but he's a good guy, though. That's the, you know that's I mean? the, that's the I hope um, he doesn't drop me on the head when I, I face talk, him next month. If I don't yeah. talk about somebody, then, like, that that's usually means that I don't like. And okay. I, I don't really have a problem with anybody in wrestling because, mm-hmm. like, I don't, I don't care. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I'm at that point. Like, I've been wrestling for almost eight years. Yeah. And, like, I'm at that point where I, was, I don't care. Like, I, I, uh, I do what I want to do. Well, let's talk about it a little bit for a second since we're here in front of a Pittsburgh audience. Um, you know, Pittsburgh Wrestling has, I think I counted about six promotions. Yeah. Does that yeah. seem right? Um, that that uh, are in the area. And, that, and the, like, there's like, a, there's like a couple big ones. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, that like, come through. Uh, you mean like the Black Crafts and the NXT ROH comes through well, regularly? I, I would even say I would even say like uh, I would put like IWC as like one of the bigger ones. Okay. Yeah. Um, uh, I think Rise is really like. And that's Rise uh, with a Y. Ri- it, Rise is really rising. All pun. <laughs> <laughs> and of course they're down. They're awesome because they're that's where I see you most often these days. Yeah. yeah. Um, down in a uh, uh, it's an old movie theater in Lamont Furnace. And was yeah, that the yeah. is that the Laurel Mall down there? I keep forgetting yeah, to yeah, check which one it is. I, it's uh, it, it, it's uh, it, it's a really cool um, experience there, um, and like the room just kind of makes sense mm-hmm. for it. But um, that's a cool vibe there. KSWA seems like they have three shows every weekend at this KSWA point. KSWA so packs the sheets. Like if they they pack this place. That was an anniversary. Or that was a two hundred and fiftieth uh, show they yeah, did here. Have you ever been to a uh, KSWA um, their fan fest show? No. Yeah. Yeah. That's legit. Yeah, here it's, it's pretty fantastic from what I've yeah. been told. It, yeah. it's, it's it, a, is, it and, is literally a fan fest. And it's a different, it's a different vibe. It's, 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 you know, I think it's the only show I'm aware of that has beer, first of all. So right off the bat, you got a different vibe. Um, and it, it's, it's really cool. It's really cool. Um, I, it, so let's see how much time I got here. We got 15 minutes. I'll talk all day. <laughs> yeah, let's talk. <laughs> Um, so Charlie, uh, 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 tell me, tell me, tell me a little bit about um, you know what you know what the, what is the craziest thing you've done as a wrestling fan here? The greatest thing uh, that I've ever done or seen, or I guess, um, well, I, I well probably my the greatest picture I ever took was uh, I went as uh, uh, Mil, Mas- Mil Mascaris for Halloween once, and I I was at I was at Hills. That's how old school it was. And I, I saw this wrestling rubber wrestling mask. I kind of laying in a mass of like hockey masks and stuff. And I pick it up, and sure enough, there's that M. And I'm like, this is no generic wrestling mask. This is a you know Mil Mascaris. It's, you know, it just said like it said like masked wrestler on the thing. And I'm like, this is great. And I, you know, so so we're pretty sure Mil Mil Mascaris did not get money from that. No, like, I don't. Uh, I think if he's still out there, he should probably sue Hills or whomever made that yeah, mask because it was, yeah, like I feel like the Ray Mysterio statue I got from the IGA <laughs> across the street. I don't think Ray got money for that. Uh, so <laughs> that's a great statue, by the way. 
or or um um well, Mystico, which is actually funny because Mystico was actually wrestling in that parking lot a couple yes, of weeks a cr- ago. Yeah, a few weeks ago. Yeah, that's Beachview is the hub of. Uh, I should I get him to sign one of those statues <laughs> while he was there? Um, but no, no, that's been great, and that's been a really cool thing that's kind of come up in the last like since we've been doing this to see like from kind of literally doing this in the basement, back room, spare room, yeah. basement to like literally like the wrestling has come to us, right? Yeah. Um, like literally across the street, the wrestling has come to us. The re- the wrestlers, Ty Cross, I don't know if he'll ever be on the show, uh, but uh, <laughs> he's a piece of shit. <laughs> but you know, um, you you never know. But like like things like that, that's a really cool vibe. And and I I, I do I, I have to thank like especially you, know, you Edric and people that you know are in the business in wrestling that listen to us. You know, as if we know what the hell we're talking about. <laughs> or maybe that's why maybe we don't. And that's why you listen. Yeah, I, I I like I, I like hearing fans' perspective though. Yeah. I mean, they're watching the show. They're paying money to yeah. see the show. Still. Yeah. Um, there are things that I don't agree with, mm-hmm. but I mean, I'm still going to try and entertain them as much as I can. I mean, I, I look at it the same way, like, you know, like a comic book podcast or a movie podcast or something, right? Like it's, it's something around entertainment, but you also get that little like mix of sports with it too, right? Like there's that backstage news and there's the, you know, this guy's injured and, and, and things like that. Um, like, I feel like there's a little of conver- like there's a lot of definitely armchair quarterback, armchair booker that happens. Um, like, oh, I can completely book WWE better than WWE books WWE. Yeah, sure. yeah how much money are you making? And are you traded on the stock market? Uh, and are you having a big 60,000 seats show in uh, Australia? What is that, next week? I don't even know. Yeah, it's soon. That's crazy. That is crazy that we're doing that on regular basis. Guys, Riz is here. Riz, get up here. Get up here. Uh, one of our show uh, co-hosts, Riz. The Riz is with us. Riz plays games. You can just, just kind of sneak behind us here. Pull up a chair. Uh, hey. Riz, did you just get here? I just got here. Turn the light on. I think oh, it's on. It needs to be on. Is he on? <laughs> it's on now. There you go. There we go. The Riz. Hi. Everybody, Hi. Riz is here. Hi. Um, Hi. Riz, Riz, we were just talking um, about you in spirit, I think, uh, earlier, because uh, we were talking about how... Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Well, we'll see. Um, we were talking. Uh, uh, Brian was uh, putting over how how anybody that's involved in this in our show started as fans. How did you discover our show? As a fan? Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, no, it was from a flyer you guys were handing out. A couple. Like, we had flyers. You guys had like these little flyers. That I believe Chad was handing out at uh, at one of those shows. At, Chad the Shad. One of the. It IWC looks like Edge. Shows. Yes. Edge, uh, Spear, uh, but he handed me this flyer saying, hey, this one wrestler that we just saw is going to be on the Wrestling Mayhem show. Who it's was like, it? Hentai. Hentai? Hentai. <laughs> super uh, Hentai. Super Hentai. Uh, the, uh, I know things about Super Hentai that I can't say here. <laughs> oh, we'll I, talk about that, that yeah, later. We'll, um, we'll the, the, the only off. wrestler I know that can't have a Facebook page because of his name. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Well, it can, but not for wrestling. Well, no, well, no, 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 no. Just kidding. All super good things about Super Anti. Super Anti has helped me a lot. I've asked them, like, things and, like, stuff like that. Like, uh, but there's a story about a big member that I can't talk about. Oh, <laughs> oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, uh, that's kind of, that's kind of. Buy him a beer and he'll tell you the story <laughs> back there. Uh, yeah, I, like, started watching. Yes. And then I started emailing. Yes. And then Did I think you were a girl at first? Because I do that to a lot of fans, apparently. No, but uh, one of the other Didn't we think Mad Mike was a girl from Canada? I remember that. Yeah. I, remember I was really bad at fan I remember Eamon was like in Canada as well. I, in Mexico. I just imagined all of our fans being these like nice Canadian wrestling fans that respect the product and but, none of them. Uh, yeah, that's none of, great. Oh, that's, oh, I, yeah, it's listen, great. man. Yeah. In the first year of the podcast, we had somebody visit us from London, right? And he was a Steelers fan. And I'm just like, okay, then that makes sense. We're, why not Canadians? I don't know. This is, some, this is some like idealized like fandom. And who knows? We may have fans in Canada right now. Uh, uh, maybe, maybe. Maybe. No, maybe. no. Maybe. No, probably not. But yeah, it, it's just like it, the, the progression towards being like weekly on the show right. is pretty really good. I, I guess. It's pretty like, interesting for me to be up here right right talking about it and now you're in front of people and yes. you've interviewed wrestlers that have completely um torn you apart in person that 
<laughs> that have since become world champions on Ring of Honor. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> and teammates with David Arquette. Yes, and, and oh yeah, the ones teaming with David Arquette right yeah. now. That's right. So you're like two degrees from the former WCW champion I, and star of Scream. I checked on it. Yes. I am four degrees from Kevin Bacon. Four degrees from wow. Kevin Bacon, and three degrees from um, uh, Courtney Courtney Cox. Exactly. So. That was my connection to Kevin Bacon. That's good. <laughs> I'm just pointing it out there. I got, I got people, sort of. All right. Usually we end this show with a what did you learn from wrestling this week? Um, and uh, I'll extend it a little bit. Um, let's see. Were you on the show this week? I was on the show this week. You were on the show this week. Um, I can't remember. It's, let me do a lot of <laughs> yeah. stuff. Do, do, do you know who was on the show last week, sort not Ty Cross. I was on the show. Last you week. were on the show, yes. not Ty Cross. Not By the way, you know he's going to be pissed. His partner's here today. <laughs> oh, yeah. We were yeah, talking about that. It's fine with you, you just saying his name. He's fine. Yes. I was saying it a lot. And then, like, Mad Mike's like, who's he's this like, guy? He, he's just, you know, he's sitting there he's like, like, who the hell is this guy? Saying his I, 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 it's great because Mad Mike's like, I seriously don't know who this guy is because I live in New York. And, and yeah. Anyways, yeah. Um, guys, and you can do this week if you want. I can do this week, too. Um, what have you learned from pro wrestling recently? And not something about the Super Hentai's member. <laughs> go go, go, me first? Yeah, go ahead. Oh, man. Uh, shit. <laughs> uh, That's a good answer. Uh, good answer. Uh, things I've learned from pro wrestling. Um... And by uh, the way, while he's, uh, wait, while he's thinking I'll stall, if any, we usually ask the chat room at this point what you've learned from pro wrestling. So if anybody wants to, uh, Riz, he can bring you a mic there. If anybody wants to step up to the front of the stage and tell us what you learned from pro wrestling recently, go. please feel free. All right, Andrew I'm Gebhardt is we'll sick we'll as we'll hell. See. We'll see if they come. Is that what it is? Is that what the chat room saying? Is Edric Everhart sick as hell? Yeah, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, flannel for life. Um... Uh, I've learned that Rise is a sick promotion. Uh, it's one of the best in the area. Um, System Elite is disgusting. <laughs> uh, System Elite. Uh, let's just say October 6th, um, there's some things going on in Rise. Yeah. And uh, I might address them October 6th. Okay. Uh, my partner's on the shelf. Yeah, you got, you so, got beat up um, pretty good. You got, um, uh, I, I might be there. I might be there. I got beat Let's up just by, say uh, that it, there's there's things going on in Rise that need to be addressed, and I might be there. Um, other things I've learned in pro wrestling, um, wrestling's awesome. Uh, I go in and out of liking wrestling and not liking wrestling as being a wrestler, and uh, but wrestling is awesome. It's like one of the best forms of entertainment, and I love it. Awesome. What about you, Charlie? I feel like I've learned this week that no matter how much I loved a guy in his prime and how much I've loved a guy for like more than a decade it's just time for some wrestlers to go away i don't want to see the generation x versus uh kane and undertaker again <laughs> i'll always watch rick flair though oh no yeah. i'll watch rick, oh, yeah. yeah i'll watch i'll yeah. watch rick flair till he's <laughs> chopping old people in the nursing home I, he's, I he's so good when he can't move he's going to be able to just like tell a story it's it's great and he'll still do that stupid like getting thrown off the top rope move that he does i, I feel like i feel like wwe in particular i think they they think that fans still want to see guys that were great like 10 or 15 years ago and i just sometimes i just want to remember those guys and do you think australia like doesn't get new episodes oh, maybe. of wwe maybe and they're like still watching the like late late 90s and that's yeah, why maybe down there is the it's the debut of the undertaker awesome if somebody came out like who the fuck is that <laughs> Jeez. Well, uh, I remember that Saudi Arabia show. They yeah. they actually had a list of wrestlers that they had to use. Oh yeah. Hulk Hogan. Yell Hogan. Yokozuna. Yokozuna deceased. Bret Hart. I was uh, like, wait, these guys aren't wrestling now. Yeah. <laughs> Wasn't on didn't they actually mention Andre mentioned the Giant? Andre the Giant like, and Hulk Hogan for a match. Yeah, that's a whole other wow. thing that's we kinda that's kinda out there. Yeah. So but that, that's why indies are awesome because it's you know, it, you can see something new. It's just like Edric Everhart in System Elite. Yes. At Rise Wrestling, October <laughs> 6th. <laughs> Riz, what have you learned this week in wrestling? Uh, even though I was on the show. Yes, we're ignoring that. Correct. Yes, we're ignoring that. But I always wanted to say this on any show I'm on. Uh, I learned in wrestling that there's nothing in the rule book that says a dog can't wrestle. Did you watch Rough Rough? 
<laughs> what was that? Airbud? The Air, was Air it Bud? Not Air Bud. Okay. Oh, that is Air Bud. That's, that's Air Bud. I thought it was like Rough Rough Referee or something that they were talking about. Oh, probably. I don't I, that, know. Like the Miz is in or something. I'm Jeez. pretty sure he's probably in one of those movies. I would rather watch Air Bud than The Undertaker again. Yes. Uh, I mean, Air Bud Wrestling, not the movie Air Bud. I, maybe, the, maybe the movie Air Bud 2. I mean, Air Bud 2 is good. I learned you never believe in retirement in wrestling unless they're like, you know, you know, Bret Hart that's had like two strokes or whatever. Like it's not, you know, and even him. Oh, wow. Well, he actually, he did wrestle after that, didn't he? Yeah. That was, was that after? Uh, yeah, no, he. Yeah, he did that WrestleMania. He had a lot of help, but um, there's I saw some uh, stuff at RWA, and I'm just like, uh, you're not a lot of people retiring in this business. <laughs> it's just a, it's just a break, or maybe just needed time to play that new Spider-Man video game. So that, that love really you, Chris good. Taylor. I'm just pointing it out there. I'm just what? pointing it out there. That video game is really good. This is a really good video game. Yes. I mean, it's only, it's only for PlayStation Sword. It is only for PlayStation. Only Thanks for, for PlayStation. rubbing that in, and you can check that out. Riz plays games on your Twitch channel. Yes. Where you play games. Where I play games. And you be Riz. And be Riz. Very good. And Very play. good. Very good. Good good job. <laughs> I'm just repeating everything you say now, sorry. <laughs> Charlie Deach, where can people find the stuff that you're involved in? Uh, PittsburghCurrent.com for the newest issues and daily updates. And um, on our Facebook page every Thursday, 10 a.m., the Pittsburgh Current Podcast. Excellent. And, sir? Uh, check me out on Twitter, at New Ugly. Uh, check me out on Facebook, Edric Everhart. Uh, check out Are You Scared of These Stories, uh, where I am not me, but am me. Uh, <laughs> I have a bunch of different personas. Uh, I'm insane. Um, <laughs> but uh, check out Are You Scared of These Stories on iTunes. Uh, a bunch of other... Uh, iTunes is, like, one of our main ones. But... Um, that's a fun podcast. It's one of those things that uh, I really like doing. It's one of my you know, blowing off steam moments. And people can see you, look you up, and System uh, Elite over System at System Elite Indie at Rise. And Rise Wrestling at IndieWrestling.us. Yeah. And you check can check out it out my, free check trial out my wet on bod and my <laughs> wet hair. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Over at the... Uh, wow. <laughs> And, of course, a free trial over there. You can see those matches for free at the IndieWrestling.us network uh, for a seven-day trial. Thank you so much, everybody. I'm at Sorgatron on the Twitter. We are at PodCon, Pittsburgh PodCon, as part of International Podcast Day. Thank you, everybody that's listening on the stream. Check us out later and here in person at PodCon. Thank you, everybody. Mayhem out. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.